Oktyabr 13-də Astanada Asiyada qarşılıqlı fəaliyyət və ehtimal tədbirləri üzrə müşavirənin 6-cı zirvə toplantısının plenar izlası keçirilib. Prezident İlham Əliyev tədbirdə iştirak edib. Əvvəlcə plenar izlasın gündəliyi qəbul edildi. Sonra küveyti AGM-ə üzv dövlət statusu verildi. Beləliklə, küveyt AGM-in 28-ci üzv dövləti oldu. Türk Mənistan isə AGM müşahidəsi qismində qoşuldu. AGM-in sədri Qazaxıstan Respublikasının prezidenti Qasım Jomart Tokayev çıxış edərək 5-ci zirvə toplantısından ötən dövrdə görüləncələr barədə bilgi verdi. Sonra Birləşmiş Millətlər Təşkilatı Başlatının baş şahibi Antonio Guterres'in izlas iştirakçılarına video müraziyyatı nümayiş olundu. Daha sonra Azərbaycan Prezidenti İlham Əliyev plenar izlasına çıxış etdi. Distinguished President of Kazakhstan, Kasim Jomar Tokayev, Distinguished Heads of State and Government, Ladies and Gentlemen. First of all, I'd like to thank President of Kazakhstan, Kasim Jomar Tokayev, for his invitation to the Sikh Seeker Summit and for hospitality. During President Tokayev's recent successful official visit to Azerbaijan, We had fruitful discussions on current issues of the bilateral agenda. Azerbaijan supports the political and socio-economic reforms in Kazakhstan under the leadership of President Tokayev. Dear colleagues, as a result of the victory gained in the Second Karabakh War two years ago, Azerbaijan liberated its territories from occupation of Armenia, put an end to the three decades long Karabakh conflict, ensure justice and itself enforce the implementation of the four UN Security Council resolutions adopted back in 1993, demanding unconditional withdrawal of Armenian forces from Azerbaijan's occupied territories. Our cities and villages, cultural and religious monuments, mosques, have been purposefully destroyed, desecrated and plundered throughout almost 30-year occupation by Armenia. Even mosques were used as stables for keeping animals. Unfortunately, during three decades, we never heard any opposition from Armenian society to such vandalism. Vice versa, this destruction and Armenian vandals, war criminals, were even glorified and presented as heroes. Armenia committed systematic war crimes against Azerbaijani civilians and military personnel. Around 3,900 Azerbaijani citizens still remain missing since the First Karabakh War. Most of them have been tortured, killed, and buried in mass graves. This year we discovered mass graves in two liberated villages. Armenia has to provide Azerbaijan with information about the fate of missing persons and exact location of mass graves. We demand this information for almost two years. But Armenian government refuses to share it with Azerbaijan, thus associating itself with criminal leaders of previous Armenian regimes. Azerbaijan is one of the most mine-contaminated countries in the world. According to initial estimation, during the times of occupation, Armenia planted more than one million landmines. During two years after the Second Karabakh War, more than 250 Azerbaijani citizens were killed or severely injured as a result of landmine explosions. International experts estimate that Azerbaijan needs nearly 30 years and 25 billion US dollars to solve the issues related to demining. Now, in parallel with uh, mine clearance operations, Azerbaijan, with its own financial resources, undertakes a large-scale reconstruction works in the liberated areas. We have also begun the return process of the former internally displaced persons back to their native lands. The program called Great Return has started. Despite the resolution of the Karabakh conflict, Armenia continues its provocations at the border, the latest of which was committed this September. Azerbaijani armed forces had to take resolute counteraction to repel the military provocation of Armenia. All responsibility for such provocations lies with the military political leadership of Armenia. Despite the three decades long suffering of more than one million of Azerbaijanis ethnically cleansed by Armenia from their native lands, despite unprecedented barbarism, destruction of hundreds of our cities, villages, Azerbaijan offered Armenia to sign a peace treaty based on mutual recognition of each other's territorial integrity. 
Dear colleagues, large-scale transportation infrastructure projects implemented by Azerbaijan transformed our country into one of the important international transportation and logistic hubs. In the first nine months of 2022, the transit through Azerbaijan increased by nearly 65%. Azerbaijan makes significant contribution to the development of the east-west and north-south transportation corridors. Azerbaijan actively promotes the creation of the Zangezur Corridor, which will be an integral part of the Middle Corridor. Since 2019, Azerbaijan is chairing, by unanimous decision of member states, the non-aligned movement, the second largest international structure after the UN. Our chairmanship was unanimously prolonged for one more year until the end of 2023. We are making huge efforts to strengthen the solidarity within NAM and to increase the movement's political weight and global visibility. Azerbaijan actively promotes the idea of NAM's institutionalization. To this end, in this context, it is worth mentioning that NAM Parliamentarian Network and the NAM Youth Organization established by the initiative of Azerbaijan. We also suggested to convene next year a high-level meeting of the NAM member states to exchange views and formulate the position of the movement concerning the post COVID-19 world. Thank you for your attention. Sonra diğer dövlət və hökumət başçıları nümayəndə heyətlərinin rəhbərləri çıxış etdilər. Plenar iclasda AGM-in tam hüquqlu beynəlxalq təşkilata çevrilməsi planları müzakirə olundu. Növbəti iki ildə 2022-2024-cü illərdə də AGM-ə Qazaxıstan sədirliyə edəcək. Sonda Astana bəyannaməsi və digər sənətlər qəbul edildi.